I think this gospel really speaks of Jesus' vision of salvation. The leaders of the church, the Pharisees, they were leaders in the faith, were, were amongst the first chosen, right? Uh, at salvation history, God chose the Jewish people as the, the first people to be part of salvation. And as we know, now that God has opened the opportunity for salvation to all people, he died for all sins, and therefore all people are now invited. And Jesus is really calling out the Pharisees here, right? He's saying that in this analogy, they are the people that were first invited and refused to come. They made excuses. And that was, that was the thing with a lot of the leaders at that time. They, they kind of lost their direction in the faith. They, they kind of lost the, the true the true faith behind the kind of practices of the faith they're kind of doing for the sake of doing. Um, yeah, rather than its true purpose. And Jesus came to preach the gospel, the, the good news of salvation through him, right? And it was open to everybody, everybody who listened, even the Pharisees. Like they were invited to this. And, you know, eventually Jesus was crucified and they kind of made their excuses, right, about why they didn't really believe Jesus was the Messiah, um, you know, it, why they would eventually put him to death. Like they had their excuses, they had their reasons. And, um, yeah, Jesus is really calling him out here of like, you were the first invited and you said no. But the, the parable, he uses the example of how he calls out to all places, all the places, like compel them to come. And that's the vision of mission, right? And that's kind of where we come in after, after Pentecost. Uh, we celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit. Being filled with the Holy Spirit, we are called to mission, uh, as Jesus said in the Great Commission. Which is, by the way, I didn't mention it in that in that reflection, but it is the Great Commission, not the Great Suggestion, um, by virtue of our baptism and receiving the Father, Son, Holy, being baptized in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We are. Um, it is our duty uh, to bring the gospel. So, I think that that's where this reading comes in as a reminder. Uh, in the wisdom of the church, they gave us this reading after the second Sunday, uh, for the second Sunday after Pentecost, to say, to be like the servant and go out and invite all to the great feast of heaven. And that, yeah, that is an invitation to all to share in the supper. And as Catholics, we also need to remember that the importance of that, the, the, the imagery of the meal, right? As Catholics, we know that mass is a very important thing. I, I talked about that in evangelization. We're not bringing people to mass. We're not really bringing in the fullness of the gospel. And that is the purpose of the mass, is that foretaste of the feast in heaven, the feast in heaven, in sharing of the great feast of the sacrifice of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, and we share that meal through the Eucharist. So, every time we go to Mass, it is a reminder of that, a foretaste of to come, what is promised to us, and the need for us to invite others to that. And I think the other side of this is also we as the faithful have been invited. So we can find ourselves 
in a very similar boat. <laughs> God calls us and invites us into uh, different things, different opportunities uh, to grow in our faith. But how often do we also, as the faithful, make excuses? Like God, a lot of times, has clearly invited us into something and it's called us to these things. And we go, uh, you know, I, I have this other thing to do. Um, and I think that there's a need for an awareness of those things, right? The things that we tend to fall on for excuse to not do what God wants us to do. <laughs> And for us, we have the, the, the opportunity to actually turn back to God in those things, to ask God for healing, for strength to overcome those weaknesses and, and our lack of desire for those things. So my reflection on this is, is very simple. And it is on that last thing that I said is now is a great time for me to take the time to reflect on where God has called me and I have failed to, to answer. Where have I made excuses to not do what God was calling me to do? And I think this is not anything new. <laughs> um, and in the, past reflection I had talked about how maybe I should do that at the end of the day to think about where did I see God or where did I fail to see God but he was clearly there right similar thing I was like where was God and then I made an excuse to ignore him uh, or what have you so that's where I am in my reflection in this reading let me know what your thoughts are, what your reflections are, and make sure to share them in the comments below. I do appreciate those if you do share them and love to yeah, talk about those. Um, other thing, if you enjoy this video, make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified the next time these go live. I do typically do these live on stream. Um, if you want to see the stream that this was live on, I'll have a link in the description. But this was during a rosary making stream. So I made a seven stars rosary. So if you'd like to see that, uh, yeah, I did this on YouTube actually. But most commonly on Saturdays, I am streaming on Twitch. Uh, so you can see my Twitch channel here. I'll put that in the video and the link in the description. And a couple things before I go as well. Uh, one, I would appreciate uh, prayers for uh, a good friend of mine named Hunter uh, who recently passed uh, for the repose of his soul uh, and for the comfort of his family during this difficult time. So I do ask for prayers in that. Uh, and the second thing is that um, the OE cast, which is the podcast that I do, uh, is having a book study on um, theology of the body. Uh, so, if you are interested in that, the link will be in the description to join. I'm taking signups to the end of June, and the book is free through Dynamic Catholic. Uh, you just have to pay for shipping. Um, if you do need help with that for whatever reason, there's an option to sign up for that in the sign-up. Uh, I was a missionary for four years, so if you need the sponsorship, you know, be, be humble about it. It's totally fine. Uh, I will make sure that I find a sponsor for you to be able to join. So please do not let money be a factor to not join. Um, it'll start in the middle of Ju second week of July. Uh, it'll be once a week. And it'll be in Discord. Uh, so make sure to join that. That's also in the description below. Uh, yeah. Other than that, thank you again for watching. And have a good Sunday. And God bless.